running with the dog. Come by, come by, come by. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So last week I did a uh, basically a little video on basic obedience training, some hints and some tips. So what we're going to do is now we're going to talk about how I would train a sheepdog to herd sheep. Anyway, let's get into this video and roll the intro. So where we're going to start off today is where we left off in that basic obedience video. So we've taught the lie down and the recall at home away from sheep. We've built that up. We've started getting the puppy out around uh, the farm. And when we're getting the puppy out for the first time around the farm, what we're doing is maybe 10, 15 minutes of just letting the puppy ride in the quad, letting it get used to farm machinery, getting used to being around stock without chasing them or anything like that. And then eventually I'm going to want to let that puppy down and let it start chasing stock. So first I have to say there are lots of different ways to train a sheepdog. I'm not saying that my way is the best. I'm just saying it's the way that I have most success. Now a lot of people want to get the dog straight into like round pen training, uh, young puppies at like 12, sort of like 18 weeks of age. Um, I prefer to train my dogs a lot more in a natural way. So when we first go out to sheep, to chase sheep, to start herding sheep, I'll take the puppy with an older dog. I'll let that older dog go. And when I think it's safe and it's going to be a good moment to let that puppy go and it'll sort of just shadow the dog. And what you'll see a lot of the time when you let a puppy out with an older dog, it'll actually focus on the dog more than it'll focus on the sheep and it'll focus and mimic that dog. And I'll let that go for about eight months. I'll let the dog's instincts, I'll let uh, whatever it wants to develop come out naturally for sort of the first eight months of the dog's life. I'll just let it go on. And the only training I would really do is if I see something that I really don't like that's going to become a problem, I'll just nip it in the bud quickly uh, and stop it from becoming a habit because it's much easier to nip it in the bud than to let that become a habit over eight months and then tell the dog it's wrong. And in these situations, you want to be very careful. The last thing you want is a young puppy getting hurt, uh, especially a puppy that's like 12, 14, 16, 18 months old. If it gets nailed by a sheep, it could end up scared of sheep its entire life. So uh, if you're, you've got, say you've got your older dog, it's herding and the sheep are pushing back or they're being stubborn, probably not the best time for it. But if that older dog's got those sheep going nice and those sheep are walking nice and calmly, put the puppy down, stay relatively close to it. So if something changes, you can just pick it up again. But let that puppy go in, follow uh, the older dog, learn, let its instincts develop. And maybe when that dog is around eight months, maybe 10, maybe even a year old, that is when I'm gonna start training that puppy one-on-one. -on -one. And it really just depends on the dog. Uh, some dogs will come to things a lot faster than others. Storm came to sheep fairly quick. She was herding sheep at eight months old. Echo was sort of a year old before we got into one-on-one -on -one training. And he, he really wasn't up to any work till he was about 14 months old. So it really depends on each dog, you'll know when your dog's ready, you just you just will, you'll just know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but you just do. Okay guys, so we're gonna walk down to these sheep. Um, Storm, lie down. We're gonna explain basically how we would start off. So the first thing that I really want to train with a puppy, so as I've said, we already had the lie down and the that'll do trained before we even let that puppy out on the farm. We had that trained at 12 weeks old. Storm, lie down. So, uh, lie down, hey, good girl. So we're gonna go and train the two directional commands, which is come by and away. And how we're gonna do this, basically, is we're gonna try and, we're gonna start giving the command and try to get the dog moving in a certain direction. Once the dog comes to the end of our outrun, we'll start moving in the other direction, pushing the dog, big arm movements, what, whatever gets the dog going in that opposite direction and then giving the opposite command. And what you're doing is just building up an association with the word and the command. So I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of how this would go. 
So say we're going to start off with a come by here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving, waving my arms. Come by, come by, come by, following the dog. There we go, the dog's out. And I would still be saying it if it was puppy. Come by, come by, come by. These sheep are moving fast today. And then as the dog's coming to the end of its run, we start going the other way. So, so we're running into the dog. Wee, a wee, a wee, a wee. Good girl, a wee, a wee. Lots of encouragement. A wee, a wee. Good girl, good girl. This is a trained dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Running into the dog again. Come by, come by. Big arm movements. Come by. So that's basically it. I'll do anything I can do to get the dog moving in the direction. So if you've seen what I was doing there, I was going, running with the dog. Come by, come by, come by. Anything you can do to get that dog moving. Do that while giving your command, repeating that command, building up that association. Dog's about to come to the end of its run, go the other way. Awee, awee, awee. Same sort of thing, flapping your arms, whatever you can do to get that dog moving in that direction. So, that's what I'm going to do. So basically, anything you can do to get the dog moving, lie down, hey. Anything you can do to get the dog moving, once the dog completes going around one way, start moving it the other way, same thing until the dog starts to associate the words that you're repeating with moving in that direction. Once we get that, we're going to stop using our bodies, we're going to stop running with the dog, we're going to stop giving so many cues, and we're just going to go, come by! Dog's just about got them. Come by! And then when we want the dog to go the other way, stop, hit, away. So what we're doing there is instead of giving all these commands, doing all this work to get the dog going, what we're going to do is just going to give one arm signal and then another command and see if the dog takes it, which storms a trained dog, she will. But a lot of puppies, they will have built up some sort of association with a word quite quickly. So... As soon as you think the dog is ready, you just start taking the commands. Just start giving the commands, bouncing the dog back and forward. Repetition, repetition. Couple of weeks, train session every night for a couple of weeks. And pretty soon, the dog will start to get the vocal uh, directional command. From that point on, then we're going to start playing what I like to call training games. There's two or three little training games I like to play, which helps train uh, younger dogs uh, and it's basically all about repetition try to get as much stuff in as possible but anyway the first one we're going to do i like to call it the train game where it's basically i'll send the dog out bring the sheep to me and then i'll keep moving around sheep in front of me dog behind that controlling the sheep so i'm going to show you a little example again are we so sending the dog out to get the sheep first are we are we these sheep are moving really fast right now. They haven't trained for a while, but lie down. Getting the sheep up in front of me. Now the dog's just going to control them in front of me. Come by. So just keep, basically what I do is keep these sheep in front of me as I'll walk around backwards. Come by. So if I start moving to the side, I give the dog the directional command to go around. Come by, come by, come by. Come by, come by. Come by, come by, come by. Lie down. And then if I want to try the other way, so I'm going to move to this side of the sheep. I'm going to let the sheep get away, and then dog controls them. Away. So I'm basically trying to keep the dog bringing those sheep back to in front of me. Steady, lie down. So the dog's always bringing those sheep back to in front of me, following me the whole time. So what you're doing, the sheep aren't really moving very much, they're staying in front of you. And what the dog's doing is running around a lot to try and keep those sheep in front of me when I'm deliberately letting the sheep pass. So again, I walk to this side. Sheep are going that way, come by! Get the dog to turn them back and walk them back towards me. Right, lie down. Okay then, so what we're going to do is we're going to progress this game on from here. So Storm, that'll come here. Lie down. 
So this time I'm going to let the sheep go further away. I'm going to send the dog out to get them. The dog's going to come out to get them from me. Right, so that's the fetch it situation. So the dog's going out to fetch the sheep. And then what I'm going to do is bring the dog back on in my side and then drive the sheep back down the field. So what we're doing is we're going to fetch the sheep back to me, bringing the dog round and then drive the sheep away from me. So that's the second game I'd start playing. Once we get good at that first one, the sheep are following me around. We're going to start going fetch into drive. That'll look here. Now look here. Right here, here. Lie down. Owee! And again, keep in mind storm strained. Owee, owee! Steady, steady! Come by. Steady, lie down. Come by, come by, come by, come by. Try and stop those sheep. Here, here, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Come by, here, here, here. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Come by, come by. Right, steady. Walk on, walk on. Lie down. Now we're into the drive, driving the sheep back down the paddock. Here, 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 here. That'll do. Walk on. Good girl. And we're going to keep doing this a bit like a yo-yo, basically. Yo-yoing the sheep in and out. So we're going to go back into fetch here. Just in a minute, we'll let the sheep go a bit further. I'm going to send her on the other side. Come by! So now we're back into the fetch. Fetching the sheep back again. Steady! Lie down! Lie down! That's actually a really nice fetch. Really good line. Uh, walk on, walk on! Lie down! Lie down! Right, Storm, are we? No, are we? Are we? Are we? Good girl. Come on, hit, 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 hit. That'll do, that'll do. Are we? Send around the back. Here, here, here. Walk on, enter the drive. Walk on, walk on, walk on. Lie down. Walk on. Good girl. And remember, with a young dog, lots and lots of. Here, 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 here. Here, Storm, come by. Right, walk on. Good girl. Just correct the sheep on the line there. Do it one more time. Come by! So like I was saying there for a second, with a puppy, you want to be living. Lie down! Lots and lots of encouragement doing this. Walk on, walk on. Storm here! Come by, come by, come by! So there's the fetch complete. Here, here, here! Hello, hello. Come on, here! Dog back on side. And enter that drive now. Walk on. Lie down. That loo storm. Good girl. Here. That loo. That loo. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, well done. Okay, guys. So that was our training game. So. Uh, the first game we played, the sort of train game where the sheep were following me all the time, that is more of a train game which is designed to learn commands. So you're given lots of commands, the sheep aren't really going too far. You're given lots of direction commands, lie downs, uh, walk ons, and you're basically getting those commands into the head, building association with word. Whereas that second game we played there, that is more geared towards actual work. So going out, fetching the sheep and bringing them back, something we do a lot at work, and then driving sheep away. So in behind the sheep, driving them forward. Again, something that happens a lot in work. So that first game is for training commands. That second game we're playing there is more geared towards training for actual work and uh, getting the sort of things in the dog's head that it's going to need for actual work, which is fetch and drive. Because they're the, the two situations you're going to find most in work is either sending the dog out to go fetch sheep or getting in behind sheep and driving them forward or changing the direction. So then I'll go into something a bit more complicated. So I'd maybe put a cone out here and a cone out here. So I'd fetch the sheep, then have the dog take them to that cone and then change direction across the field. And that's going to teach uh, direction changes. So we'll show you that as well. 
false start. Come by. So first thing we're gonna do, fetch the sheep back to me. Steady. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Stop these sheep a second since they're running quite hard. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Are we? Are we? Hit, hit, hit. Walk on, walk on. And now we've got the sheep going across the field. Hit, 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 hit. Sheep still going across the field. Hit, that loo, that loo. Are we? Good girl. So now we're going to. Are we, are we? Change the direction and move them back to the other corners. Lie down. Here, here, here. That'll do. Now again, diagonally across the field. Driving them diagonally across my face. Here, 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 here. That'll do, that'll do. Walk on. Come by. Now we're going to go diagonal back across. Lie down. Walk on, walk on. Here, here, here. Good girl. Diagonally back into the other corner. And do you know what? Come by, come by, come by. What we can do now, just make note as we go along. Come by, come by, come by. Here, 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 here. Back into that drive to the bottom of the field. Here, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Come by. Good girl. Walk on, walk on. Here, walk on. Good girl. Now driving. Sheep back to the bottom of the field. Come by. And then we'll turn them back into a fetch. So again, it's just changing directions constantly. So we had a bit of diagonal going there, something that would be new to a new dog. A lot of change in direction and things like that. And uh, basically getting the uh, idea into the dog's head that nothing is fixed, that you have to listen to the commands to know what's going on. That'll do. Good girl, Stormy, that'll do. That'll do, that'll do. Good girl, well done. Here, yeah, yeah. here. So, good girl. Good girl, yes, I know. Here, yeah, that'll do. Stop. Stop. That'll do. Go get a drink. Here. Yeah. Come on. Get that drink. Go. Go get a drink. Go get a drink. Storm, get a drink. Come on, go get a drink. Good girl. So there you go, guys. That's the three training games that I would play. So you've got the little train game, which is teaching commands. You've got the fetch and drive, which is very work related. And then at the end there, we've got a fetch and drive with some unexpected directional changes and moving maybe across the face of me instead of back and forward. So you've got that extra direction going now as well. And once you've got a dog to that point, it's pretty much ready for work. Now, just because it's ready for work, does it mean it's fully trained? No. A big part of training a dog is getting it experience with stock, getting it experience out at work, getting it experience to how a herd moves. So in the training field, in a controlled environment, all that's grand. But if you take your dog out to a field with 100 sheep in it, 200 sheep in it, um, that's something that a dog needs experience. So... Uh, Getting it out, getting it working at this point now is part of the training. And getting it used to working with big herds, getting it used to, uh, well, if the dog makes a mistake, teach it how to fix that mistake. Don't get angry at the dog. Don't get fed up with the dog. And the biggest thing you have to remember during all of this is patience. I did this with a trained dog and made it look easy. <laughs> but when I'm training a puppy, it takes a long time and I have a lot of patience for the dog. And if the dog makes a mistake, that is an opportunity to teach the dog how to fix a mistake. Anyway, Storm's had a drink. We had a good little session there. I hope that guys helps. I hope that helps you guys to understand uh, a bit more about hair and a bit more about how I would train a dog. And uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm not saying my way is right. Certainly my way is a bit slower, but I tend to find I get really good results letting a dog come up naturally to about eight months and then into these one-on-one -on -one sessions i don't use round pens i know a lot of people use round pens i think just get the dog out in a field and it learns how to control sheep in a field uh, 
round pens are good if you've got a dog that's maybe a bit too much or puts the sheep at risk uh, but I prefer to get out in a, a semi small paddock something about the size of this and just get that dog out and it's not going to happen first time uh, there's a lot of stromash which is a Scottish word for basically a big mess uh, the first couple of times I take a dog out till they get used to how to control uh, a group of sheep in an open space but I find the best way of teaching a dog how to do that is just to go out and do it until the dog figures it out so uh, that's basically how I train I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that'll do for today's video I will see you in the next one Storm What are you doing? What are you doing? You good girl. You a good girl. Oh yes, you lovely. Mm -hmm. My girl. Be my girl. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs>